very special guest, yes. It's Terry here and the rest of tonight. Happy 100! <laughs> here they all are. This lovely lot will be helping us out during the show and later on, one of them will walk away with £5,000. <laughs> As ever, we know everything there is to know about this lot. Got some fascinating facts on them. For instance, we know that 47 of them tonight have Googled themselves, <laughs> including you, Christina. You did, didn't you? I have. You did. Yeah. Anything yeah. interesting? No. No, no. nothing. <laughs> we know that 42 of them sleep naked, including Big Vernon here. You do, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Big old John as them would be, wouldn't they? Uh, nine of them have got a secret crush on somebody they work with, including Kirsty. Yes, Bill the Beans, Kirsty. <laughs> Who is it? Can't tell you. Sure? Secret, yeah. Oh, it's a secret. <laughs> I was afraid she was going to say that. I just want to come along here because only one of them, this is a good one, this only one of them asked to become a boy for her third birthday and then woke up crying because she didn't have a willy. <laughs> So that <laughs> we'll uh, listen. Thanks you all for coming. Very very excited that you're here. One of you tonight will walk away. <laughs> Sorry, right, Sarah. It's over. With five thousand pounds. But back now to the man that millions know as Deck. It's Ant. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Come tell us about. Uh, yes, I think Stan. The McHenrys are trailing and the Humphreys are out in front. But there's plenty of time for that to change. Hey, come what? on in. I'm coming. Let's crack I just off. wanted a word with Sarah there, see if she's got over it yet. <laughs> you all right? Are you all right? <laughs> yeah. She's yeah, yeah. mortified. Right then, it's time <laughs> for our second game of the night, and this one's already been played. This week, four family members had just one day to learn how to become expert divers and then compete in a special high dive contest at the National Dive Centre in South End. Is this about diving? This yeah, it's, it's about, about diving. diving. Right. Yeah. Uh, playing this one for the McHenrys were Emily and Alice. And playing for... <laughs> <laughs> Big fans in. And playing for the Humphreys were Rich and Tony. <laughs> done any actual diving, but to show our support, we're both wearing um, <laughs> these under our suits today. Oh! Oh! Come up easy. <laughs> Always do. Mind I start in a piece. Always do. Here's how they got on. The last thing my mum came and watched me do was a brownie swimming gala. It was a float race, and I got pulled out by a lifeguard. <laughs> heights now. I don't deal heights pretty well at all. I think I can do it. I hope I can do it. We'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> It is going to be really tough. You hit the water at nearly 40 miles an hour. To just go up there in two half days training is going to be tough. During the competition, the contestants will be scored on difficulty of dive, technique, and crucially, height. First dive off three. <laughs> well, it was his first one. So stop tittering. <laughs> I'm really optimistic about Anthony. Rich. We've got work to do. It's the first proper dive now. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> You're right, just stay there. Just stay in the water. Did your legs bend back? Yeah, I saw that. Does it hurt now? Just when you first did it. Yeah, it's okay then. Just take right. time. When she fell, she pushed off the board a little bit and then her legs bent backwards over her back kind of thing. So she, she just hurt her back a little bit, I think. What's up then, Alice? This is a bit overwhelming. It is, isn't it? I can completely... Come here. Come here, give me a hug. Come here. Come here. I completely get it, you know. I do. To turn up here and for us to ask you to do this and then someone film you <laughs> and look at your mistakes <laughs> look at your swimsuit. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> I'm nine in the three, but like, they're pushing me to go on the five, but that'll feel up to me. You know, I had a bit of chest pain and everything, just. I just felt really worried. I don't know why, it's horrible. <laughs> yeah! I don't even think I can make it to the end of my legs, so funny. <laughs> Calm yourself down, we'll go straight to the end. 
One, two, three, off we go. If in the competition the girls actually do do make the 7.5 board, I'm definitely going to get out for it, 100%. <laughs> I don't think that would be going to work, really, if I uh, got beat by the girls. Alice is doing really well, and the technique that she's got on the three meter is brilliant. If she was to come up onto the five meter, she'd be fine. It's just whether we can get her over her nerves to, to get her off the end of the board. That's that's going to be the hard part. Can you go down and try three? Yeah, keep going. Yeah. It's just because you don't get a second. In about half an hour, it'll be time for our most nerve-wracking challenge of this series. All four divers are making their last-minute preparations, and after just one day's practice, this really is in at the deep end. With minutes to go, the contestants make their final decisions about which dive to do, and just as importantly, which board to go from. It's short time. But crucially, the divers won't be told their scores to ensure no one has an unfair advantage. <laughs> you all right? No. A bit nervous now. Huh? Quite your confidence. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> First to dive tonight, Emily for the McHenrys. Yes. Good luck. Good luck, Emily. Here we go. Big question is, which one she going to? And remember, the higher they go, the more they score. Yes! And she's going for the seven and a half metre. She's going for it! That's delighted. Oh dear. Good luck! <laughs> Emily is about to attempt a forward jump pike. Now this is quite a tricky dive, and she'll score extra points for that seven and a half metre board. Good position. Great pike! Yes! yes! The judges deliberating, scoring her on height, difficulty, and technique. And she scored 49. Fantastic start. That is a uh, good start for them. Just a bit. Just make it the best dive you've ever done. Yeah? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Here's Richard. Go for it. He's unaware of the girl's score, but he knows it was a good dive. It looked like he's settling for the three metre. I am surprised at that. He's going for a forward jump tuck, a low-scoring dive. He shook his head. And he won't score much from that height either. Back from the end. Come on, son. Come on, Rick. Arms in position. Good jump. Oh, slightly off angle. <laughs> That's the best I've seen him do, I reckon. Richard relying on technique here, so let's hope the judges agree with Deck. They've given him 28 points. Disappointing. So we're sticking with the same tactic? Yep. 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 Do it nice and clean. You won't go other. wrong. You won't <laughs> go wrong. <laughs> okay. Alice is up next for the McHenrys. Good luck, Alice. You can do it. It's safe to say she's the most nervous of the contestants. Stick to three, make it clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking Ant's advice there and staying on the three metres. She's also attempting a forward jump tuck. But will she score higher than Rich? Oh, she's missed the entry slightly. There's the strong jump into the tuck, out straight, Slaps the water. She scored 27, giving the girls a total of 76. That will be difficult to beat. What, and what? Where are you, where are you diving for? You're going to go five. You're not going to go higher. <laughs> you, why don't you want him to go seven and a half? Mate, it's not that I don't want him to. It's just that he's never done it before. If he, I mean, if he does five and nails it and he gets really good scores, then we've got a, might have a chance. If he goes to seven and a half <laughs> and fluffs it totally, we've lost the ring. One more dive. Rich firmly telling Anthony to stay in his comfort zone there, but he needs to score high to win. I'm really not sure that's the right call. Now past the three metre. 
Will he listen to Richard? Oh, and he had. He should have gone for the seven and a half metre. Ant's pleased. But Ant is relying on technique now. He's going for a forward lineup, and it better be good, and it is. It's like a hot knife through butter, but will it be good enough to win it? <laughs> that was a dive and a half. It's back to the studio. Very good. So, the McHenrys scored a total of 76 points from their two dives. Rich scored 28 points from his, which means, Anthony, you need to add 49 points to win. Let's see how you did. Here it is again. It's a great dive, but Anthony needs 49 to win it. 41. Close. But not enough. Challenge. I think it's down to you jumping off oh, that 7.5, yeah. you know. Yeah. Going brave at the beginning. <laughs> it just ha we just had to do it. There, was, there wasn't a question. We didn't know what the guys were doing, so we yeah. haven't seen anything. So I just, knew I just had to. <laughs> well, yeah. it's, it's, it's paid off. It really has. And you get to knock £20,000 off the Humphreys. All you've got to do, push the button. <laughs> You said if they went up seven and a half, you would definitely go up seven and a half. Yeah, I did it on the first day. Come on, I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> um, I think because I hurt myself pretty badly in practice, I just thought like I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to. I've got to go. i to go to work one day. Listen, have just fallen a little way behind, but there is still plenty of a uh, way to go. Uh, to catch up again. One more time, let's see. They all did brilliantly. For Emily, Alice, Rich and Tony! <laughs> oh, tough, that, that one. Very tough. Uh, time for a quick break now, but you've still got time to end the People versus Dave, where we've got a car, a holiday to the Dominican Republic, and Ant's old golf club up for grabs. <laughs> I never use it. Uh, Lions close after the break, and all the details you need should be on your screen now. Yes, there, there they, they are. are. They're the ones. And there they now, go. Get out of here. Let's go. Uh, we'll see you in a few moments' time for all of this. Still to come tonight, two players go insane in the brain with our great minds' game. Lionel Blair fancies a bit of role play, toilet role play, and Ant and Deck prove they're not the fittest men on telly. Push the button this week. I'm backing the McHenrys against Dex or a lot the Humphreys. <laughs> who are behind at Just a joke. All right, calm down. <laughs> who are behind at the moment? Where? Where in the lead but at the moment? But it's still all the play for. I know. Still all I the know. play for. About thirteen, not even thirteen thousand pounds in it. Plenty of time. The phone lines have now closed for the people versus Dave. Please don't call. Your rent we won't count, but you may still be charged. So it's pointless and a waste of your time and our time. So don't do it. Okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, time for game three now. <laughs> Playing for the McHenrys. It's Kim. And for the Humphreys is Jenny. So Kim and Jenny come and join us for the third family basil. Kim, welcome to the show. Now we've already established that you McHenry sisters are very close. You socialise together, you play net is it netball, you play yeah. together, you, you cut CDs together. Yeah. <laughs> We've already heard that. But you must argue and fight a lot though, being sisters. You can't you can't get on all the time. Do you argue? Um when we were younger we used to argue a uh -huh. lot. Um, especially me and Alice being the younger two. 